we work very hard, I think, every time when we make these films to pick the cars as the extension of the characters. Hobbs, trying to make him the iconic kind of figure coming into Rio, we needed an indestructible car that could match Dwayne's physical presence. I mean, Dwayne is a huge guy, and he got even bigger to do this film. And so anything less than the Gurkha would look silly. It would look like a clown car. If there's anything we can do to help, stay the fuck out of my way. When I met with Justin, and Justin says, OK, listen, I got the perfect car for your character. What is it? It's a 10-ton Gurkha. Great. I love it. It is a badass, absurdly large vehicle. It was very appropriate for Hobbs and for his men. It's 10-ton of opening up drums and barrels of whoop bass. It's basically a, a Ford F550 chassis is what it is. It's an F550, but it you know, weighs twice as much. And then they fabricate their own armor-plated body on top of it. So the performance would be equivalent to uh, an F550 towing a large trailer. You can't get to 60 in you know, 3.2 seconds in it. But once it gets going, it's pretty powerful. It was a great choice, but it was tough many times because it's just so huge. And trying to drive it through some of the streets leading up to the favela, it got a little hairy at times. Action! It's like one lane. The Gurkha fills this entire road. And Justin, he wanted the Gurkhas to jump over these rises and come down the hill. So we tried four different versions of shock absorbers, and I blew all four of them. I can appreciate the fast cars and Fast and Furious and, and those sports cars, but um, and at the end of the day, I'll take that Gurkha. That Gurkha will crush those cars in a second. May not be able to catch them. But it ever does, you're done. <laughs> you're toast.